London, proud city built on 2,000 years of tradition, heart of a kingdom since time immemorial, since last century the heart of an empire, today the heart of a commonwealth. Down the mile from Buckingham Palace ride the men of the household cavalry, the young queen's personal escort. In themselves they symbolize London. For half of those 2,000 years, the tower has brooded over the city. Nearby is Tower Bridge, a Victorian engineer's masterpiece. And a small masterpiece of modern engineering is the Morris 1000, ideal for a city where mileages pile up and parking space is precious. For example, in the narrow lanes around St. Paul's Cathedral. London isn't all old by any means. The visitor touring Britain's capital will find that the architectural achievements of today blend happily with those of centuries past. The bridges of London prove it. Each has a character of its own, yet each, like Waterloo Bridge, the newest of all, seems perfectly at home in its setting. Clean lines, pleasing in themselves, and ideally suited to their function, like those of a well-designed car. Where next? How about Trafalgar Square, with its towering monument to Lord Nelson? Or Piccadilly Circus, which Londoners like to regard as the hub of the universe, much as the New Yorker regards Times Square, or the Parisian, the Place de l'Etoile. London is a place well worth getting to know, and the best way of getting to know it is by car, the right car the car that's just as much at home on the open road or in a crowded city street, the economical but lively Morris 1000. <laughs> 